hi there welcome to this new video and in this video we will going to look at the model evaluation so evaluation of model is very important but first of all let's see in summary what is model validation so model validation is basically the testing of model on unseen data and identifying how accurately it fits the real world data in our previous model model was giving the perfect output and that was the case of overfitting where model is trained and tested on the same data and that's why it has remember all the values from training so if you have not seen my previous video i highly recommend that you first see the previous video on the decision tree classifier sorry the decision tree regressor and then come to this video because that's the second part now uh, as i mentioned that it was a case of overfitting because once we had fitted the model and got the output we saw that model was giving the perfect output for the observation or the same observation when we were giving it because it has memorized the all the values that was provided to it and was giving almost like 100% uh, output 100% accuracy from the output perspective but that's not what you see in real life the actual model will have to face the uncertainties of real life and then need to perform well right because you would really not like that uh, you have created a model and providing the same value that has already been happened we always create a statistical model so that it can face the new new values or the new problems on which it is trained based on the existing data and then tell us how with with some sort of certainty and uncertainty that uh, whether this is a possibility or not so and also we will see in this video that how we can summarize our results into a single metric for better presentation of entire model output so we will be using and uh, and metric which is mean absolute error so what it does is basically take the uh, all the errors so errors is nothing but uh, the difference between actual and predicted values just to understand how far the act the predicted values are from the actual value so we will see two important things one is uh, how we can split the data set and then how we can you know evaluate it based on this single metric so let's go ahead and see it in action and before i move ahead just a quick request that i have just changed the entire way of presentation from the white mode to a bit of a dark mode because i feel that it gives less strain on the eyes but if you feel that uh, that is something not useful or not making a lot of sense you let me know in the comments and i will try to flip back to the uh, the normal mode all right so let's move to the python so here we are in the same python or jupyter notebook and if i go up you will see the same model which i had run earlier so just to summarize in two minutes uh, we have imported the libraries then we have read the data checked first few observation removed all the na's and then stored the in the dependent variable which we need to predict and then created a feature uh, feature array or a feature list uh, and provided it to the main data set that these are the features we want to consider and then we have moved ahead looked at the first few observation and then we described it and looked at there is no missing values and their respective uh, statistics for mean standard deviation mean 25 percentile 50 percentile 75 percentile and finally the maximum value and uh, after that we have created a model which using the decision tree regressor and random state was to mention that uh, we you would also get the same output which i have got it here and we fit the model we predict the model and then we saw the case of overfitting where for first five observation as you can see the output is all is completely the same what we have it over here so 24 is the first output 24 is here 21.6 21.6 34.7 34.7 
33.4, 33.4, and finally 28.7 and 28.7. So it's like almost 100. So if it, this is just five first few observation, but I guess that this is the case with all the observation because it has memorized the data so well that um, you know whenever we are providing the same observation, it is giving us the same output. So what our objective is that we would really like to to split this data set into a test and training so training will happen on one data set and we will be having one data set which is an completely hold out data set which model has not seen and then we will see how well the model is performing and we will create a, a one single statistic to check the accuracy so first thing is we need to import the train test split function so sklearn dot model selection we need to import the train test split and once we have it we will create four variables which is x underscore train x underscore test y underscore train and y underscore test equals to train test split and we will provide the value of x comma y comma so here you have the option to specify the test size so the variable is test underscore size equals to you can say 0.3 that means 30 percent of the observation will be left in the holdout data set which is a test data set on which you will evaluate the model so this will be a completely unseen values for the model that we will prepare on the training data set so once we have this you can also have uh, random underscore state equals to one just so that uh, from the repeatability perspective right so once you execute it so x name x is not defined something like a small x or something that we may have yeah small x no worries we can change it over here and now we have the x train x test y train and y test so x train and y train is something on which we will going to train the model with the help of the x test value we will give, going to get the predicted value and that will be compared with the actual value which is in y test so i'll show you step by step how you can do that so house underscore model underscore two equals to uh, first of all uh, what we need is basically the the decision tree regressor as an initialize initializing that so the season tree regressor and then house underscore model underscore two dot fit and then we need to provide x underscore train comma y underscore train so x underscore train is where your independent variables are and y underscore train is where your dependent variable is so this is this will going to establish some re the relationship between the uh, between the model based on the decision tree regressor the decision tree which i gave you a, sh a short explanation in the previous video so this is a model that has been created with these default nodes now we will going to create a new variable which is predicted variable so house underscore uh, model underscore two dot predict so we want to predict based on the x values the independent values that we have sorry the test which is a holdout data set so you you could see earlier that uh, x train and y train we have testing it and x test has the values which the model has not seen so let's see how well the model will going to perform so now we have the predicted values now these predicted values we can check with the existing values which are there representative of x test you know and uh, referred as y test so for that first of all what we need is basically we need to import the metric which is the mean the mean absolute error so from sklearn dot matrix 
import mean underscore salute sometimes it just doesn't complete it okay from all right so now if i say mean underscore absolute underscore error and first we need to give the y underscore text the actual values that we have from the unseen data that is this and another is the predicted value and what we get is basically the error rate or the error value of 3.651 now let's try to compare this mean value mean underscore absolute underscore error with the what we had from in the earlier model which was this base house model dot predict so house model and uh, what we can do is simply say dot predict x so within the here i can say house underscore model dot predict x comma y because we predicted on the entire or we trained the model on the entire x values and then we predicted on the entire x values and then comparing it with the what will be the real out what is the real output so real output is in y and the predicted output is in the will be here so when we execute this you will see that there is no this is like there is no error at all and when you saw that you have holded out the 30 percent of the data set you will see that there is an error that means model observes some of the issues uh, that it can have on the unseen data and that is the real thing with the uh, machine learning that uh, once you have created the model to evaluate the model how well it is performing you need to make sure that model is getting tested as much as possible on the unseen data it, it is sort of an iterative cycle where model keep learning uh, from the unseen data the error that it sees and the you know new features and all that so this this is the base this is the score that what we have got once the 30 percent of the data is uh, is basically uh, uh, you know we hold it out for testing purpose and uh, finally what i showed you is the mean absolute error this is the test statistic for the entire um entire uh, values or the entire values of the data set or for the entire model so what is absolute uh, error so mean absolute error is nothing but what it does it it basically checks the actual minus predicted for all the uh, values and whatever that value is whether 4.5 or minus 4.5 it converts this minus into a positive and then finally you know give us the average value of all of these values so we get actual minus predicted for the entire data set or in this case only for the test values and then we got the finally the average and that is what it is happening in the back end for mean error there are other metrics like uh, from there is mean absolute error there is mean squared error and there is uh, one more i can't remember but let me try if it gives to import mean so there is mean absolute error the f the first one this one mean squared error mean squared log error so these are the three ones that we have so generally what i do is i take mean squared error also and then take the square root using the numpy algorithm which gives the error into um, more meaningful which i can then properly interpret this is also i can interpret it basically you know uh, in the house the variation of the house is 3.65 and now it can be in thousand so 3650 uh, maybe the variation that you see into the model uh, when you will test it on the real data to the dollar terms but mean squared value is something which i trust more but uh, but you can you can also use this the same is the method for the mean squared error just import the mean squared error and take a square root of that so it depends on the situation also sometimes where you need to use the mean absolute error and then uh, get the output so that's mainly i wanted to show you in this video and uh, about how you will going to validate your model so this is one technique but remember there are other techniques as well for example 
the uh, cross uh, there is something like cv the cross validation technique which basically uh, gives us by you know uh, tuning the parameters so there is a different topic altogether like uh, tuning the parameters and after you tune the parameter you need to uh, experiment with the multiple parameters or multiple parameters which are present over here and uh, get the output so all of that i will try to cover in the future videos and show you how you can create a model um, that really works so thank you for watching and let me know how you uh, feel about this video in the comment section and don't forget to share it with your friends and colleagues